Hey, it's Mark. Um, let's talk today about a different way of uh, approaching attaining your goals, a different way of, of thinking about structuring a deal um, in the healthcare market. Let's use as our example, say, um, you're a hospital-based group and um, you're planning on um, expanding your business uh, to neighboring facilities. Uh, and so uh, you begin approaching facility administrators uh, trying to see when current contracts expire uh, in order for you to bid on those contracts to displace the current group. And that's certainly one way of uh, approaching it, and there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, are there other ways of sort of getting your head around the object? Uh, the object being to expand your business. So for example, uh, might another approach be uh, acquiring the other group that is or the, the group that is uh, presently performing whatever service this is uh, at this other target facility uh, might it be something different from that might it be splitting off uh, members of uh, that group so that you can uh, take over the other group uh, without the need to uh, acquire it uh, by, in essence, crumbling that other group from within. Uh, are there ways to put pressure on the facility uh, to turn to you as opposed to you turning to it? So what I'm simply saying is that as opposed to looking at deals in any context, in the usual way. Think about the greater goal and think about alternative ways of achieving that goal. And then think about deploying more than one strategy at the same time to achieve your goal. The, there's, there's a multiplier effect of using that sort of, in military terms, combined arms approach. So think about that in connection with your next deal.